Even though he lived majority of his life visually impaired, King Kekis Kukuna was a visionary who was always ahead of his time. This is according to the Kukun royal family, friends and associates of the man traditionally known as Tlavira Bauba. Skukune was also described as a compassionate man who had the interest of his subjects at heart. Abiro Abauva was a humble man, peaceful, respected. He was a man of honor. He was a man who never ever went to sleep knowing that somebody is, uh, is suffering somewhere. He was a man who will take his own last cent and give to somebody. Like I've indicated, we come from the section of Ratebeila. We were welcomed here at Maruteng and then we were catered for we were even given uh, the royalty in our uh, area at Ratevela there. So we felt we, we, we have lost a great one, and then, uh, but we believe that we have seen his legacy will go uh, about it, and then uh, we are so sad about uh, his passing away. Resident says KK Skukune was a divinely ordained king who left an indelible mark in the lives of his subjects. It's a great loss to us because that man, even though he was blind, he had a great vision as you had. Uh, this man really loved his, his nation, but uh, most he was after protocol and the royal uh, culture, royal uh, customary law. This man was heavenly sent because he was a proponent of Sipedi culture and even taught all the chiefs and headmen under him to do the same. Skukun's funeral has been declared a special provincial official funeral category 2 by President Sri Ramaphosa. He will be laid to rest at Mutlalit's Royal Cemetery next week. Rutendo Boboriese, BC News, in Mutlalit.